everyone. Happy New Year. Was anybody else asleep when 2024 rolled in? Because, baby, I was fighting. I was going down swinging. Soon as it hit 12 o'clock, I was in the bed. I just had to see the New Year come in, but I was going down swinging. I was fighting. I said I wasn't going to do a big ritual because I was just so freaking tired. I was, how was it for you all? I know I was, again, I wasn't going down without a fight. My eyelids was ready to close. But anywho, we made it. We're here in 2024. Yay. Don't know how this ride is going to go right now. I feel like we're on a roller coaster right now. It's all cool and fun. We're going through the curves and everything. And eventually we're going to go up that incline. And we're not going to like that decline. So <laughs> with all of that being said, um, I'm changing this up because I'm doing a quick one today. I didn't really want to edit this. I just kind of wanted to cut it out and get it rolling. So if you're here, any mistakes, if there's anything wrong with this, I'm sorry. I had to rush and get this out. But um, I wanted to do a reading on DDG and Holly. I have, this has been a requested one before, but I just never got around to it because it didn't feel like the timing was right. But now they're coming back up in the news because people are alleging that she has given birth and they heard a baby crying in the background on some live stream that they did for Christmas and she had like a pregnancy waddle or whatever. I don't know what any of that is like, you know, because I'm not blessed with kids. So yeah, I'll take those mothers out there's word for it because I don't know what that's like. But before I get into this reading, I do have to issue a few disclaimers. So for those of you who do not know, this is a tarot channel. So when I say readings, I literally mean readings. This is strictly tarot. I'm doing astrology. I may do some numerology. It depends on what comes out to me. Uh, um, what they call it when you read by shapes? I don't know. Um, geomancy? Not sure. Don't correct. I mean, correct me on that. Um, but with all of that being said, if you're someone who does not like tarot, you do not resonate with astrology, you think this is heresy, um, it does not resonate with your spirit, it irritates you, etc., etc. Here's your moment to click off. Thank you for the view. Thank you for your time. But this is now where you leave us. If you are someone who is okay with this, if you are a heathen like me and you are ready to receive for, I am going to continue. And I also want you to pay attention to the statement below the screen here where it says all statements made are alleged for entertainment purposes only. Because this is my interpretation on what I'm getting from the cards, some of these things will be wrong. So please do not believe everything that I say. Um, I try to be very clear on this, that I am a newbie to tarot. I will always say I'm a newbie to tarot, um, even if I had like 50 years be under my belt because you always learn something new. So I'm always open to learning. So with that being said, I'm going to proceed forward. Just know that um, discernment is crucial when doing this. And again, all alleged for statement purposes only. Now, since we're getting into this reading, pause it if you need to, because you know you have that power. You can pause it, come back with your tea, grab a seat, and let's proceed forward. So we're just going to get a reading on this and just, I don't know if I really want to read about if they have a baby, but I think I'm just going to see what I get about their relationship. Um, I know I've read on their relationship before, but we're going to see what, if anything has changed, if I get something new. Okay. Okay, so there was a few things I wanted to come out here. We were doing DDG. Funny, we're getting all these pinnacles. Mm. So DDG's energy.
And look what we have underneath. Okay, so. So looking at DDG's energy here, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. And so to me, the Three of Pentacles is usually about um, working to get, working together, collaboration, a business opportunity, a business partnership, um, you know, and with this coming up from reverse, I am inclined to believe that DDG is being opportunistic um, or opportunist when it comes to his relationship with Holly. Um, I do not think he's in it for the right intentions. Also with the Knight of Pentacles and this something slow moving, um, the theme that's coming up for me is I would not be surprised if a more famous girl came along or if a uh, opportunity for him per se was to come up, the DDG would not jump ship. He would leave Holly in the dust, move on, climb the ladder. Um, it just reads very opportunistic to me. Um, he's, he, I feel like it just kind of reads like I'm willing to risk it all. I'm willing to be a social climber in order to like, keep things stable or to succeed for my family or and friends. Um, I also hear very calculating um, with it. Looking here at anything else coming up immediately. Yeah, I'm just getting calculating. Okay. Looking at Holly with the Six of Pentacles, I was not expecting this, but again, this will make sense. Um, uh, usually, I've said this before, when I see the Six of Pentacles, this usually reads like reciprocity. Um, not that relationships should be a um, tit for tat kind of thing, but it's just kind of like, hey, well, if I'm boosting you up, if I'm pouring into you, I expect you to do the same. If I'm giving you respect, I expect you to give me respect. Um, if, you know, I love you this much, I expect you to love me this much. If I went to the grocery store and bought you your, your favorite cookies, <laughs> y'all are bad, bad, I see you. You know, I expect if I was down sick and you went to the grocery store, you will remember what's my favorite cookies or my favorite snack and bring it home. If I'm thinking about you all the time, I expect you to think about me kind of thing. Um, it reads kind of like puppy-ish, like you you really think uh relationships are going to be very balanced and even and maybe not so much i do feel like she's getting something out of the relationship from him that she probably has never experienced before i think is the other thing and i think this to her is what makes the relationship relationship feel um equally yoked it's probably like the best way i can say it but yeah now, it really concerns me that we have this emperor here because when I first flipped that over, I heard the word emasculated, emasculation. Um, so I guess that can only be in regards to DDG, which is crazy to me because I don't know why you would feel emasculated. You have a girl who, you know, at least in the eyes of America or a lot of her fans and things like that, she's like, a, she's a great catch. She's beautiful. She's like, ethereal she's magical um she's like multifaceted multi-talented and you dog her and treat this that kind of way when i see this high priestess here it really makes me feel like holly is burying her head in the sand to ignore all of the red flags that dg has kind of like put put out there she is really um trying her damnedest to kind of like make it seem like everything is cordial, everything is okay, um, that she hasn't made the wrong choice because it, it kind of feels like a typical thing, like most of us, if I admit that I made the wrong cho choice or that I chose him, what does that say about me? So I feel like she's just like bypassing all of that. She's like looking straight ahead. She's ignoring the stop sign. She's going through the red light. She's knocking down the red flags and not caring. She's not wanting here. And so that's what I'm getting with the, uh, the high priestess and the emperor here in reverse. But let's see. I'm going to get some more info here. Get some more clarity. 
It's not looking good. But I got this last time, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure last time I said that it feels like she's very much in like puppy love and he's just like, whatever, girl. Okay. Organization. This is Mercury and Virgo. Just going to note that, but this kind of popped out half of that. Let's see. Assertion, which is understandable. Seduction, I do not really care. Convention. Does he old, hold some old world beliefs and kind of like, I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. I would not be surprised if DDG was the type of person who watches like the Andrew Tates of the world, the, um, what is it? The fresh and fits of the world. If he, you know, dabbled in the Kevin Samuels will, um, um, because with the convention here, it makes me feel like he has some very toxic beliefs um, in relationships. I thought something else was coming through, so sorry. Again, with the assertion, you have the sun in Aries. The sun in Aries, the emperor in reverse here. He is trying to, I don't know what kind of assertion, dominance that he is trying to win back. Um, or if he's just feeling like this is some sick A mind game that he's playing on Holly. Um, it's crazy because even he a Libra, I would think a lot of this stuff will pop up for Holly. But you're not yourself when you're not um, vibrating in your frequency, in your right frequency. You're not yourself. <laughs> um, and again, with the seduction coming up in reverse, of course, it feels like there's no love here. Um, um, it just really feels, feels like I'm just dogging you. Like, I'm, of course, there's no feelings here. Of course, there's no romance. I'm just doing barely enough. Um, this is also coming up with the Piscean energy here. And I want to say this is, is that Jupiter? So it's just like, hold on, let me check the picture because I, ooh. Sorry, I punched the heck out of this mic. Um, I want to say that is, yep, Jupiter. I, I be knowing sometimes. So yeah, this is Jupiter um, and Pisces. So to me, what don't Pisces be lying all the time? It's kind of it kind of feels like, oh, I'm just telling you what you want to hear in order to get what I want, kind of thing. Um, the seduction almost feels like manipulation, um, in a sense, or uh sacrifice what what do i need to give up in order to get what i want let's see here the six of pentacles here for holly let's know what was this optimism <laughs> six of pentacles optimism okay now i get two cards for her and this time, defense and discrimination. They're just popping off to the side, so this is why I'm not counting. <clears throat> okay, optimism want to come back out. Yeah, and this is what I was getting at with the high priestess. I am trying to bury my head in the sand, and I'm trying to believe or create a world where I believe that this man is for me. He's my man, my man, my man. I don't want to believe that he's, um, that I'm laying next to somebody who could potentially be my enemy, you know? Um, girl. Oddly enough, we have isolation and influence as the underlying cards here. Wait, let me do that. Isolation and influence is the underlying card. So this kind of reads to me, oh, I hate to throw this word around because people just use it so loosely. Um, 
it almost reads like a, a narcissistic relationship where I'm trying to isolate you away. I'm trying to keep you away from everyone who could potentially even tell you or, um, you know, who would do right by you. And I'm trying to isolate you from them in order to keep um, exact control the way I want. Like, mm. Female coming to come out. Okay. See? Riches. And I want to say this is Saturn and Virgo. And this is, I want to say, is that Mars in Aquarius? And they're both coming up in reverse. Riches and rebellion. Is DDG not getting out of this exactly what he wanted? Because remember, Three of Pentacles was coming up in reverse earlier, too. You also have riches coming up in reverse. It feels like I'm not I'm not exacting the right um hmm what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Give me the word material um earthly possession out of this that I wanted. Like, yeah, I'm getting some of the attention here, but it would be better if it was you know, manufactured from me. It was my own. It wasn't on behalf of Holly. So again, the, the emasculation comes up. Why, why are you the bigger star? Like, I should be the bigger star. It kind of feels... You know how some ladies, how we say sometimes, like you feel like you'd be competing with your with your man and you shouldn't be. This is kind of like what it's giving me. I'm competing. It feels like he's competing with his girlfriend. That's probably why the three of pentacles is coming up here in reverse. It feels like DEG is competing with Holly. Very immature. Definitely immature behavior. Okay, so I'm going to read these off. So we have stability here. We have planning, plot and planning, stability. Again, this just feels like I'm waiting for my next move. And what do we have? Disingenuous. It is not what it appears to be. Money keeps coming up in reverse in this, and I'm because it's coming up in reverse at the bottom as well. I wonder, um, I hope she's not paying him for something, or did they get into like some kind of business venture together? Um, some something of the material is coming up in reverse. It don't have to necessarily be money, but um, that's that's something that keeps kind of like coming up in in the negative. Um, and I don't know if it could be, okay, what I'm hearing is it could be a thing of like, yeah, it just feels like DD, if, again, his, and this even lets you know, I'm not really picking up on a lot of her. It feels like a lot of DDG's intentions are coming through, but what I'm getting is that, um, financial security is a big thing. Financial security is a big thing for him. And I think because... I don't know, maybe financially or um, business-wise or like he's running this hamster wheel. He's He feels like he's getting further and further behind, but you're, on the, but you're on the track. You're on the hamster wheel, but you feel like you're falling behind because you see somebody else. I don't know. They, they seem that they're further ahead. Um, it's kind of like giving crab in the buckle, crab in the barrel mentality. Sorry. Um, I would just say financial security is a big thing that's coming up for him for sure. 
does he tend to have Virgo tendencies? Because it's giving it's just some Virgo, like maybe in his main four. Um, but well, and somewhere in his main four. I know it's not his son, but it, it feels like it could be coming up to his moon, his rising, or his Venus. Like it, feel, it feels Virgo in energy to me. Not trying to, sh sh you know, smack down on Virgos or anything like this because I, I totally understand this as well. But Virgos are about financial stability for sure. Like, yes, we talk about Capricorns getting to the bag, but Virgos are very much like, no, if, I, if I'm not, if I don't feel secure in this relationship, especially financially, you can forget about it. This is not going to work. And that's just like what this is given. Period. So yeah, um, very disingenuous relationship. It is uh, not as harmonious as it appears on the surface. Um, and I think Holly knows that. But again, head in the sand, head in the sand. And lastly, just for a bonus one, so this isn't too long because I still have to edit out that one little piece in here with the microphone bump. <laughs> but I want to make sure you all have something for today. We're going to look, I'm going to pull three cards, whether the baby rumor is true, or we're going to see what we get. Let's see if I can get some clarity. Let's get that two of pentacles coming up. It's so much want to come out. Jesus. So much. I will note that the lovers and the Knight of Wands wanted to come out with a lot of spicy energy. Okay, so we have the Chariot. We have the Four of Cups. This does not read like pregnancy to me. A like King of Cups, at first, um, you could see it as like, yeah, um, they probably had a child. There, There's definitely some romantic relations and things like that going on. But with the Chariot coming up in reverse, and you know, there's also Cancer Energy Moon. Um, it just feels to me like, um, failed attempt. <laughs> and then you also have the Four of Cups in reverse. It feels like something that is unwanted. Um, so maybe there was, you know, some misguidance here. Um, there was a, a failure to launch. Um, I'm, I'm trying to speak code here because I don't know if I can actually say that word, uh, on YouTube. So hopefully you get it, what I'm saying here, reading in between the lines. But lastly, I'm just going to pull two more cards and we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> it's a six come up in reverse so it is in reverse if you don't know because um it's supposed to sit up like this but it's coming down like this so it's failure um something did not happen um i don't know if somebody got to her and and mom and dad maybe got to her and was like hey or her publicist or something um maybe beyonce and jay-z somebody got to her got in her ear was like hey um, this is not going to look good. This is not going to be right. Um, kind of trying to counsel and advise her, but <clears throat> I, I'm going to go with my gut on this. I don't see it here, at least on the cards. I do not see it. 
um, because the other underlying cards here, I'm going to tell you why I said that. I don't know if her family and stuff got involved, um, her mentors, her relations team, whoever. Because we also have another queen here, the pragmatist and the protector coming up. Then we also have work. We have the princess, which I'm going to believe is probably DDG. Then we have disingenuity, planning, and then official things. This reads to me like a council. Some council came in like, hey, this is not going to be a good look for your work. This is going to be something to stop. And with these both being diamonds here, I'm inclined to believe it's, it's either someone dealing with her business. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it was like her mentors or something like that. If it was um, her publicist or if it was, you know, even on the off chance like Beyonce or Jay-Z or someone kind of coming in and being like, hey, this is not going to work. Get your together. I don't know what signs our parents are, but it could be them as well. Like, hey, get it together. Um, maybe, I don't know, a brother or something. It just feels like family kind of came in. It's like, oh, get this together. Then here goes the disingenuity again. And then we have planning and official things. So it's just, to me, it's just like, hey, someone was like lying out the cards for her. Like, this is not going to be good, period. You're going to be sold up. All of these rumors, you're not going to be able to keep this secret, da, 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 da. Um, or maybe there is some business dealing here before they kind of reveal their child, who knows, but to me, I'm going to go with my gut here, what I'm getting um, with this King of Cups, the Chariot, the Four of Cups, the Success in Reverse, the Leader, it just feels like somebody took her under their wing and was like, no, it, it feels like there was a failure to launch. So that's what I'm going to stick with my gut on that. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm interpreting from the cards. I'm okay with being wrong. But um, in this case, I would be happy if I'm right. <laughs> because I definitely don't think, you know, she's young. Date around. That's all I got to say. So with that, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see the next time I upload. Um, also, leave comments down um, if you have something you would like to see me do a reading on because I will see it there first before anywhere else. So with that, I thank you all for seeing this reading. You have a great day, night, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you soon. Bye.